First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity, Bahashim, Rakoa Kodash. All right. And um, I came across this article, all right, on um, the internet, and I wanted to, uh, you know, bring it out to the forefront. You know, it's, it's talking about um, all the mass shootings that have been going on this year. All right. And, you know, damn near every day, there's a mass shooting, all right? So, you know, we're living in a time where violence has increased, all right? And there's a lot of violence that has been going on, all right? But people are under a, a false perception that we live in the land of the home and of the brave, all right? Where um, people come to this country to, you know, make a dollar and, you know, we have freedom and democracy, but that's just not the, the case, all right? This this. This land was discovered on the rape, robbery, and murder of the of the natives, all right, the indigenous people. Okay, and, and that's the the mind frame, all right, that this this country that was built on, all right. You know, the so-called white man has exalted himself over the uh the Hispanics and the natives and the Negroes who are the biblical Israelites, all right. And um all that is gonna come to a stop, all right. So all this violence and bloodshed in this place, it's gonna end up you know, being repaid with what it's done to others, all right? So, but willing to be edifying, all right? Because, you know, like I say, through the Spirit, you know, we're coming in, we're coming on times where people just solve their differences by pulling out a gun and just shooting, all right, their fellow man, all right? There's no compassion in the earth, there's no compassion in this land, all right? It's becoming very polluted, all right? The morals have been... Um, brought to the all-time low okay and basically you know th this place is decaying it's corrupted all right and uh, you know the lord's coming soon the lord has to put a stop to all this so um i'm gonna read this article i'm gonna probably play the video first and then read the article lord willing grab some scriptures and it'd be edifying <sighs> this is on the denverchannel.com all right it's uh Dated November 8, 2018, 11.53 a.m., all right? It's entitled Mass Shootings in the United States, When, Where They Have Occurred in 2018, all right? Let me uh, play the video first. So, as you can see in this video, you know, it says of the 30 deadliest shootings in the U.S. dating back to 1949, 19, 19 have occurred the last 10 years, and the latest happened this week. Yeah, there was a, a bar in California that got shot up. All right. So, yeah, man, America has a history of violence, and it's it's plain to see. It's plain to see, man. You know, you have Vladimir Putin call out uh, United States for, you know, their democracy when he said that, you know, this this country was built on a robbery of and a murder of the uh, the Native Americans. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and read this article. <clears throat> it says the number of mass shootings around the country in 2018 has risen above 300 so far. 
According to de data from the Gun Violence Archive, a total of 307 mass shooting incidents have occurred as of October 2027. Wednesday night's shooting, which left 13 people dead at a bar in Thousand Oaks, California, marked the 307th mass shooting incident so far this year. In 2017, the U.S. saw a total of 346 mass shootings. All right. And now you can go ahead and see the statistics for other years here, as it says in this link. All right. On the DenverChannel.com. You know, you could just plug in this, this title and you can get it. You know, it says there doesn't seem to be an official definition for a mass shooting in the United States. But according to the Gun Violence Archive, a mass shooting is described as four or more individuals being shot or killed in the same general time and location. All right. It says related. Look at this related uh, top. Uh, this link. There's a related story. It says school shootings in U.S. When, where each shooting has occurred in 2018. Do you see that? You know what? You know what kind of society are we living in? Where you know your kids can't even go to school. All right. Not even children. You know, elementaries, high schools are getting shot up, man. All right. You know, and whether it be. You know, Esau's little MK Ultra robots, you know, because we know that um, this mad scientist, you know, he has people uh, brainwashed, all right, for lack of words, to go in and commit these um, violent killings. And, you know, you can actually see that in the movie Manchurian Candidate, you know, both of them, the one in the 60s, the black and white version with Frank Sinatra, and also the, uh, the newer version with Denzel Washington. You could see how they were using um, uh, military soldiers who were uh, in, uh, brainwashed and, and implanted with uh, the RFID microchip to go and actually uh, uh, kill other people, you know. So they, you know, we know that this, you know, this, this could be true. All right. So, you know, we, we, we live in a very uh, evil society, man. You know, it's a very dangerous place. All right, the hatred level is 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 you know at an all-time high. All right, there's no compassion, there's no morals, all right, there's no um honesty, all right. Everyone just trying to get over on everybody. You know, this is I'm gonna continue reading. The FBI defines a mass killing as the killing of three or more people in a public space, but the federal agency also defines a mass murderer as someone who has killed four or more people in the same location. The Gun Violence Archive lists itself as a not-profit organization that documents gun violence and gun crime nationally. All right. So that was the article. And it has a, a chart here, mass shootings, the daily since 2018. It doesn't want to pop up. I've been trying to click on it. I don't know what happened. All right. So it has some uh, some data here you can look at. All right. If you just Google this, this title. All right. So I thought this was uh, worthy to do a video because, you know, it's true, man. You know, you matter of fact, the schools nowadays um, out here in Phoenix, Arizona, they lock from the outside the doors and the windows. They actually lock from the outside. So, you know, the, the, the kids are being uh, put in schools and they attend schools that are are being safeguarded for uh, shootings and, and for uh for uh, school shootings, all right. So you know, you, your our children basically, they they live in a, a, a detention centers, man, where they could be held against their will, all right. So that's the type of uh, society we live in, all right. And with the rape, robbery, and murder of the so-called uh, Native Americans, which are the the Gadites, all right, which are one of the tribes of the twelve tribes of Israel, all right. It's obvious to see, okay, that this is a bloody city. Let me get this. This is Nahum. Salakia. This is Nahum 3 and 1. It says, Woe to the bloody city. It is full, it is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Right? It's very plain to see, man, that the United States is a bloody city. All right. You know, we look at all the uh, the Negroes that were slain, okay, in slavery. We look at all the, the uh, and even further back, you know, the Native Americans, 
all right, who were damn near uh, are extinct, all right, and put into reservations, they were slaughtered, all right, and also the 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 also the Hispanics, all right, the Latinos the, on the southwestern part of the United States were also slain by the Spaniards all throughout Mexico, uh, North America, Mexico, and Central and South America. All right, so this is a bloody city. All right, America, it is all full of lies and robbery, right? You know, and this, 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 this city, all right, this, this, this place, America, all right, is, is supposedly um, home of the free. Okay, but we are, we are everything but free. All right, you know, we are debt to slaves. We are slaves to debt. You know, we are slaves to uh, working. You know, for a paycheck. You know at the end of every week, you know, the Bible says we should be paid every day. All right. So, you know, that those things are lies, you know, this is the place where they set up. All right. The son of the most high is a so-called white man. That's a lie. All right. So it's all full of lies and robbery, right? This place is built on robbery, right? You know, the apostles have gone into the fact that we should not be having to pay taxes at the end of the year. There's no law. In the constitution that says we have to actually pay taxes so they're actually just taking a cut out of our check just right off the top all right that's robbery it says the prey departeth not and see and, and we're a prey to these damn elites okay to this corporation of america who all right are under the power of these these elites all right but our people they don't depart from the ways of this place our people like it they like this place you know as long as nothing's happening to them okay it's all good but let one of their friends get shot up at school or gunned down in gun violence or get shot by a police. That's another thing that's been going on. All right. We've seen a very influx of police brutality, killing um, Jake's throughout the past couple of years. Our people don't care as long as it ain't one of theirs. Hey, you know, but let it be one of their people, get one of their family members, or somebody they know, then they want to uh, they want to march. And we know marching don't don't help for nothing, man. All right, so woe to this bloody city, man. You know, there's a lot of killing going on here. All right, and it's all judgment from the Lord. But nonetheless, you know, we have to bring it out. You know, our people, they need to know who their enemy is, man. And that they have law, judgment, statutes, and commandments that they must follow. And that's what we do when we uh, are out there on the highways and hedges. Okay. We're breaking down these scriptures and making these videos. This is the book of Hosea 4. It says, hear the word of Yahweh, ye children of Israel, for Yahweh hath the controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, no knowledge of the Most High in the land, right? And that's what we, you know, do this for, man, so that the children of Israel, you so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans will hear that the Lord has a controversy, all right, with the people of, of the land, man, you know? Rayab. Strong's H, 7379, Rive, Rive, and second entry, Riv, Riv, Rayab. and third entry, Riv, Riv. The Lord has a dispute, man. He has a strife. He has a quarrel, all right, with you Israelites, man, all right, because there is no truth, man. Our people, our people are dishonest. Uh, our people are just trying to make a quick buck, you know. You know, they're trying to uh, finesse their way into a uh, a brand new car and a, and a mansion and trying to live the, the American dream. All right. There's no mercy. You see, our people are quick to just pull out a gun and air it out. You know, it says no knowledge of the most high in the land. Our people do not know. All right. That they are Israelites. All right. And they need to get out these churches. All right. So the Lord has a dispute with you. All right. It says by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out. And blood touches blood, right? Killing after killing, you know. Our people are, you know, they're quick to do homicide after homicide, you know. Most of the people getting killed out here is Jake, man. Our people are under the curses, okay? The scriptures say uh, a man's eye shall be evil towards his brother, all right? And that's what you see, you know. So our people do not depart from this place, all right? They don't depart from 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 the city full of lies all right they just they want to be a part of it they want they want to be a part of this cesspool of of iniquity all right but the lord you know 
The Lord has these scriptures, man, to teach us, you know, how to get out of that. All right. That that, that goes to show you that only a, a remnant is coming to the truth. All right. This is Psalms 11 and 5. It says, Yahweh tried the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence his soul hateth. Right. You know, even though the Lord is a man of war. Okay. He 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 hated the wicked and him that the 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 loveth violence. You see? See? There's wisdom. All right. That we need to know because the scriptures say that uh calls Israel, one of the words for Israel is uh Jerusalem, which means city of peace. All right. Yarashalam, if I'm not mistaken. All right. That's 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 what the one of the names for Israel is, man, the city of peace, man. You know, the Lord tried the righteous. You know, he tries out the 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 our ways, you know, and gives them uh, to every man according to what he has done. All right. But the wicked and him that love with violence is so hateth. All right. The Lord hates all that, man. Senseless killings, you know. Let's see. You know, you got you got killers and murderers and people doing all manner of iniquity running loose, man. So this place is defiled, man. You know, the scriptures speak about, you know, the Lord having to come back and and, and actually uh cause a World War Three and, and, and the countries to nuke America to actually wipe away, you know, this this God forsaken land. All right, for all the bloodshed. This is numbers thirty five. And 33, it says, so I can, wrong chapter. This is Numbers 35 and 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. Right, blood defiles the land, okay? And how many countless number of Jakes are I have died in slavery in, in America? All right, so this land is polluted. You know, you got Jake running around here just uh, killing people up, man. You know, all the gang violence in the 80s in L.A. You know, you got Chicago, you got Atlanta, you know, Florida. You know, you got a lot of cities out here, you know, in the United States that are just, it's just polluted with the blood of, 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 of our people. It says, for blood it defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that sheddeth. Right. So whoever sheds that blood on that land, all right, that land can only be cleansed by the blood of him who shed it. So that person has to die. OK. That person has to die. That's why the Lord said this in the book of Matthew. This is Matthew 26. It says, then said he, how shall I unto him? Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Right. So if you you shed blood, hey amen, your blood has to be shed by the sword. All right. The scriptures speak about an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. All right. That that's that's judgment. All right. Judgment upon the wicked, on those who love violence. Okay. See, but we actually hope for what? A new earth. Let me get that. this up real quick let me see nope I didn't it this is second Peter 3 and 13 this is what we're looking for man Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. All right, that's what we're looking for, man. You know, a, a, a beautiful earth, man, where dwelleth righteousness. Okay. You know, because a lot of people love to have it, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a Mad Max type of uh, environment, you know, 
when that martial law hits, there's a lot of people that's that's gonna be right up their alley, man. That 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 you know, having no electricity and and uh, all the freaks coming out at night, all the rapes, all the robbery, all the looting, the stealing, the killing, all the getting over on each other. There's a lot of people that go, they're gonna that's gonna be right up their alley, man. You know, because this is the place where the judgment is gonna occur the greatest, man, in Babylon. Okay, you know, it's also known as Nineveh. It's also known as uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Let me get this and end it out on this. Because ultimately, you know, brothers, we know that this World War III is coming, you know. And the Lord's going to have these nations turn on America. And America will be destroyed by uh, by nuclear missiles. This is prophecy. All right. So while these people run around, you know, killing people and Esau setting up his robots and you know, whatever the case may be, you know, this, you know, woe into the bloody city, man. It's Revelation 18 and 21. It says, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And that's what's going to happen, man. All right. You know, this place is going to be destroyed by by thermonuclear heat, fire, and by the chariots, which are the so-called UFOs, all right? Thus, with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. So, you know, all those that love violence, hey, man, they're going to receive violence. You know, they're going to perish by the sword, all right? So, I hope this was edifying. And I want to say, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Shalom.